have you ever come across this situation finding this difficulty or this problem with your whatsapp you've discovered or you've experienced this before or this is your current situation or it could be someone else that has faced this challenge and what is the challenge you try to log in into your whatsapp and you find out message like this and this now do not panic it could be that at the process of time or in that very situation you find yourself you don't know how to do you were not able to resolve the problem and you end up changing the whatsapp number or you stop using whatsapp whatever could be what you did at that moment now this solution has come to you just watch to the end and you are going to find step-by-step -step process on how you can resolve this kind of problem in case you have not experienced it save this video because it's gonna be of help in case you come across this situation or someone else that is currently facing this you can share this video with the person or you can save it so that it can be of help to someone because this kind of problem is bound to happen any mistake can cause this kind of situation in your whatsapp account so this solution has come to you please watch it to the end and then you will thank me later so we are going to address two problems here that is basics that can likely happen or occur while using your whatsapp account many mistakes can occur that will make this problem to happen first thing first we are going to uh, solve the problem this very problem and then after then we are going to solve this very problem so watch this to the end just like i said earlier and then you will find this very uh video helpful save it because you will need it later and then i know you will thank me later now let's dive into the step-by-step -step solution to resolve this so let's just dive right in okay now if you have come across this kind of situation in which it states you need official whatsapp to log in and you've tried several times to no avail it did not work these are the steps you need to follow the first thing first this is the first thing you are going to do there are many ways of doing or resolving this situation but firstly you need to disable your play protect disabling play protect is the first thing how do you do it or how do you go about it you go to your play store hope you know your play store your google play store you click on your google play store and then you now go and click on the profile the right top corner there you click on your profile and then you now come to where it's written play protect you click on it hope you are following after you click on it then at the right, uh, top right hand side that settings icon you click on it also then these two options that you are seeing scan apps with play protect and improve harmful app dictation you are going to disable this you are disabled you are going to disable both of these features mine has been resolved already but you follow these steps and do this you disable it after you disable it then go back to your phone settings you click on your phone settings and then go to your app management click on your app management or you can search for it directly from your app your your settings wait for it while it's going to load to display all the applications you have on your phone now that it has displayed you search for your whatsapp look for your whatsapp or for the search button or the search side there you search for your whatsapp in case if you have uh, plenty application you search for it which of the whatsapp you are facing this situation is it the normal whatsapp or the whatsapp business now let's go for instance whatsapp the normal whatsapp app you click on it first thing first follow this instruction please you see this first stop you click on it click on the first stop and you okay it and then you go to your storage and cache you click on it and then clear cache you click it and you clear it hope you are following 
after then then you restart your phone again restart the phone and then try it and see if it's going to work this is the first step when you restart the phone and then log into your whatsapp again then find it working but should in case this method did not work out for you this is the next method in which you can try you return back to your play store hope you are following you return back to your play store and search for your whatsapp search for whatsapp and then you uninstall it from play store directly you uninstall it and then you after you uninstall it from play store then you install it back but mind you uninstalling it can lead to missing all your storage all your charts it can lead to that except if you have packed it up through your gmail then it may probably be restored so this is a second step in which you are going to do you uninstall it from the play store and then you install it and if this did not work out for you this is the second method if this method did not work out for you this is the final one in which no doubt is going to respond or is going to work for you you go to your your chrome browser or any of the browser you use to browse and then you now search for whatsapp support whatsapp support you click on it then follow this step contact whatsapp you say you go to the bottom and then you search for when you go to the button you search for you go for help center now hope you are following now when you go there then you now search for how to about temporary ban accounts you click on it you scroll hope you are following or if you don't want to follow this method right from right from okay let's continue where is now you now click on contact us hope you are following yes now you are going to choose which of the whatsapp is it the messenger or the whatsapp business now let's go for the messenger the normal whatsapp contact us you click on it and then you put in your phone number your contact you are going to first choose your country uh, code your country code you choose it let me choose randomly just for the sake of this and then you put in your your contact hope you are following i'm just choosing randomly and then you put in your email address the very email address you used while uh creating that your whatsapp account you confirm it and then you now choose how do you use your whatsapp is it on android on iphone on web desktop or the other click on it and then you now type your message when typing tell them exactly what you are facing tell them how you try to log in and it's showing that you need your official whatsapp to log in and you try to download it you try to work it out and still is not responding make your uh, message clear and then you send it in the interval of some minutes and sometimes 24 to 48 hours they are going to respond to you this is the final step in which no doubt no doubt is going to work out it's going to work out hope you are full okay i know you are enjoying it please just give a like to this video if you haven't give a like and then please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you can leave your comments what has been your experience are you enjoying this please make sure you keep this video engaging now let's continue and move to the second one right now now this is the another situation this is another situation in which it can likely be found or a problem that you are facing or someone else that states this account is not allowed to use whatsapp due to spam this the reason why this can there are many reasons in which your account can be flagged your whatsapp account can be flagged 
Now, let me give you one reason, one reason in which I, I myself actually experienced before we go into it. One of the reasons is when you are trying to add multiple people into a WhatsApp group, WhatsApp is going to tag that as a spam and your account will be affected. Your account will be affected. When you are trying to add multiple people in a group, WhatsApp will spam your account. So be careful with that. So when you come across this, you are going to find Binet a, a, a request for review in which when you click on it, you are going to type your message there and then you send it. But there is another way in which can make it faster for WhatsApp to respond to you. If you try this way, they may respond to you. They may not respond to you. But the easiest way for you to contact WhatsApp is you go to the website just like okay now let's still make another repetition again but in a dynamic way so remind you you go to your chrome browser and then you now type for whatsapp whatsapp support.com when you go to and type for whatsapp support.com then you now search below just go below and then you find where it is written contact us you click on it then you now click the particular whatsapp you're using is it whatsapp business or the normal whatsapp messenger you click on it and then you put in your country us code your country a number code you understand and then you put in your phone number the whatsapp number is not different number it's not any other number but the whatsapp number that you've used for that very account you put in the gmail account that you have used you confirm it and then you now select in which way you use the whatsapp is it on android on iphone or web and desktop chaos or other you specify and then you now type in your message telling whatsapp that they should review your account if your account has been flagged by mistake put it down in written that your account has been flagged by mistake asking them to review and they should restore your account by so doing sending them the mail sending this they are going to receive it and they will review your account and in no time taking your account will be restored within the interval of if it's going to take long let it be let's say to 48 hours but mine did not take longer in fact it, it was supposed to be 24 hours but it did not reach 24 hours it was an interval of let me say not even up to 12 hours so i can see so when you follow this step you are going to find your account being restored this is how you solve all this is a solution to solve or resolve this kind of problem when you come across it in whatsapp either for yourself or someone you share this video to somebody or you can save it because it can be of help another day or one time that you will need it if you find this video helpful please can you leave a like to this video yes leave a like to this video and then subscribe if you haven't subscribed share because there is love in sharing thank you for watching see you in another video.